All right, so the third wine I want to tell you about is a rosé. Yep. Rosé typically is a seasonal release. It's meant to be drank in the summer, meant yep. to be drank fresh and young. Fortunately, we have this phenomenal one that we can get year round. It's Mulderbrosch, it's from South Africa, and it's 100% Cabernet. So I thought rosé is kind of fun for Valentine's, not only yeah. because it's sort of just really food friendly pink. and very versatile, and it's pink. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's so. also very trendy too, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, it's definitely it like, what I like to call rosé is uh, the comeback kit of wine. Like it's come back around to being respectable. It's not these saccharine white Zinfandels that people right. were used to through the 70s and 80s. It's it's we had finally a lot of Palmasan in our house. Garden. Yeah, pink. yeah. This is not Nana's pink wine. Yeah. This is like okay. really uh, just a fresh. Uh, what I what I like to tell people about rosé is it has that sort of brightness of a white wine, so it's refreshing, but a little bit of the complexity of a red, which right. makes it perfect for food. This would pair with salmon. This would pair with roast chicken. This would pair with you know. Perfect. Burgers, barbecue. Really? Okay. Yeah. Right. So. It's nice. It's very light. Really? Yeah. Fresh. Very, very light. Light pink fruit, mm -hmm. watermelon, strawberry. Delicious. Yeah. All right, now it's my turn, Jess. All right. I'm very excited. Yeah. Plus, reds are my thing. So what okay. do we got here? All right, so first red I'm going to do is the Lechuza Garnacha. Okay. This is 100% old vine garnacha from Spain. And what I love about Spanish reds is not only are they uh, a tremendous value in the market, they're also uh, just so approachable and food friendly. This is an uncomplicated $10 red. This is a classic weeknight wine for me. Right. Right? Okay. I pair it with pizza, takeout, anything. This is, uh, you know, dry but not totally grippy dry, right. um, fruit forward, but not too juicy. Okay. It's just a really nice, nice bottle. Okay. So, well, yeah, oh, so cheers. cheers. I'm already yes. going in for it. Jess, that's delicious. And I like that you call it a weeknight wine because right. wine is not just for the weekends, people. No. Weeknights. It's good for you. Yeah. And it is good for you, actually. It is good for you. It's filled with antioxidants. And if you're drinking on a weeknight, you don't really want to throw down 20 bucks. You want to throw down 10. Or if you're trying something new, you want a safe bet. I think 10 and under is always kind of like, I tell people, I'm like, you know, don't worry. If you bet on it, if you don't like it, you spent $10. Right. If you do like it, you have a new wine that you like that's $10. There you go. You know? I like it. So that. It's all about discovery. That's what life it is. is really You've about. You've got to explore. And the only way to learn about wine is to taste and taste and taste. It's a really hard job, but this is somebody's got to do too. it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay, what do we got next? Okay, the other red that I brought in is uh, one of my favorite bottles, just aesthetically. Uh, Francis Coppola makes a lot of great wines um, at great price points. Yep. And this is the Diamond Series Claret. Claret's a British term for a Bordeaux style blend. So it's Cabernet based. Okay. A little bit of Petit Verdot and a little bit of Merlot. All right. So what those do is they just kind of soften out the red a little. And this is um, what we would call a sluggable red wine. Price point is $17.99. So um, I did this on Christmas Eve with Prime Rib. This was okay. my like house pour. Yeah. Because you know it's Christmas Eve, so I'm not afraid Dude, to where's spend. Where's my invite for Christmas Eve? I'll <laughs> slug some, you know, yeah. some claret on Christmas Eve. So here is the Copa Claret, and it's just a really cool bottle, and it's a great wine. Oh, this is my favorite so far. I actually have a bottle yeah. of this at home. It's um, wonderful. And it's in the wine rack, and I'm saving it. Yeah. It is so good, so versatile, right? You can pair this with a big fat steak, like mm -hmm. a classic Cabernet pairing, but it's also like kind of soft enough in the tannins that you could pour, pair it with a, a pork roast or right. even something more casual like barbecue if you're just kind of like chilling. Right. It's a great, great wine. Really, really a big fan of this red. Me too, and I'm not yeah. putting it out, so mm -mm. there you have it. 